What's up, you two? Welcome back to the Knicks Cave. I'm Jan, the Knicks fan, your host. Let's get right into it. But before we get into it, I want you to do me one small favor. I want you to hit that like button. I definitely want you to subscribe, leave a comment. You want to know when the next video is going to drop, hit the notification bell. Well, y'all see the score, 111 to 107. What can I say? Um, I'm going to hit you with the stats, but I'm going to get into the reason why the New York Knicks lost this game. Uh, one would say the players need to play better defense. And I know I always seem like I'm going right back to the same, the same uh, excuse or what you want to say, outcome. But it's the truth. All right, let's just get to two players, um, Jalen Brunson and Giannis Antetokounmpo. Jalen Brunson had another career night as a New York Knicks, scoring 44 points, 7 rebounds, 4 assists. Antetokounmpo had 22 points, 10 rebounds, 5 assists, and he had 2 blocks to go along with that. Before I, I get into the stats, I want to say one thing. I want you all to remember the points that I just said Antetokounmpo had. And then it's going to basically go along with what I got to say about why the New York Knicks lost this game and why the outcome was the way it was. But for right now, I'm going to hit y'all with the game leaders real quick of this. And then we're going to get deeper into the video. Team leaders on each team scoring. Well, game leaders. And the two ball, as I said, have. 22 points, 5 assists, 10 rebounds. He went 1 for 3 from downtown. Con Connerton had, excuse me, Connerton had 11 points, 4 assists, 11 rebounds, and he went 3 for 7 from downtown. Holiday, he really had a, a slow game. Um, Grimes really held him down. This at the end of the game, he made shots, big shots when needed. Uh, he had 15 points, 9 assists, 5 rebounds, and he went 3 for 9 from downtown. Uh, Brooke Lopez, he had one steal, one block. He really didn't do too much. He scored, but I'll get to his stats later. Jalen Brunson, 44 points, four assists, seven rebounds. He went four for 10 from downtown. Julius Randle continued to impress. I don't care if nobody say 25 points, five assists, 16 rebounds, but he had a sloppy night from the three point. He should have, in the opening court, in the opening first quarter, he was like seven, 0 for seven, and all them shots were from downtown. And yes, one could see that could be a reason why the New York Knicks lost this game, but no, it was not. The Knicks pulled it together. Uh, by the time the second quarter came, we was up about 13 points, lost that lead. Um, third quarter came in, we was up by 17 points. But I'm, like I said, I'm going to get into all that in a minute. Let's just get with the stats real quick, and then I could dive into the game and why we lost it. Mitchell Robinson, two steals, one block. Julius Randle led the team in assists. With five, with 25 points, five assists, I'm not going to repeat it. Julius Randle basically is a type of, come on, Julius Randle basically on some nights do it all when you look at the stats. I'm not going to say he do all the intangibles, but when it comes to stats and filling up the stat sheet, most of the nights Julius Randle have that cover on the New York Knicks. All right, let's get over to the stats real quick. Oh, well, it's the, the game, game stats, how they matched up. Um, the Knicks... Both teams started off this game shooting terrible. They shot terrible from downtown. Uh, the Knicks shot 26% going 11 for 41, whereas the Bucks shot 30, 36% going 19 for 49. Yes, both of them will have a terrible night from shooting from downtown. Just the Bucks made their shots when it, was, when it was necessary. And that's going to go right along with what I'm saying why we lost this game. Uh, field goal percentage, the New York Knicks was 38, making 38% making 38 shots out of 100. We took 100 shots. That's another reason we should have won this game. We had more attempts and more possessions than the Milwaukee Bucks, but we just couldn't get it done. Um, free throws, the Knicks went to the line 22 times, making 20 of them, going 90%. Uh, free throws for them, they went to the line 18. We, we got to the free throw line more than they did, but I'm going to tell you, like I said, it's like I'm repeating myself. I'm going to tell you why, and y'all seen the thumbnail why we lost this game assist the new york knicks uh 2016 assists uh bucks 27 blocks five for the bucks one for the knicks steals three knicks had eight steals which they should have turned into easy points but they didn't now let's just jump right before we like i said let's just get into this the reason why the new york knicks lost this game i can hit you with the players stats and everything but Let's talk really about why we lost this game. 
Knicks lost this game because, for, for one, it was too much isolation. Well, I wouldn't say isolation, just too much one-on-one -on -one ball. Um, it kind of helped us in the earlier than first half, but then the second half, it made no adjustments. Whenever the Brunson got the ball, yeah, he had 44 points, but he would go take it. He, he, would, he would take the shot. There was no ball movement in this game, and that's what the Knicks got away from. But the main reason we lost this game is because of the New York Knicks coach, our super coach, Tom Thibodeau, didn't make any adjustments. Um, I wanted to put some video up, but I had some trouble with it, so I can't really break it down the way I wanted to break it down. But what I mean is, about if you watch the game, like, all right, I'm going to talk about one play in particular. It was at the end of the game, Evan Foyer ran over to double and the two bowl, and Joe Nangles, excuse me, yeah, Joe Angles hit the three-point shot. But that was all by design. And in the first quarter, because the Bucks were shooting the ball, the three ball actually so bad that it was working. Like I said, I, I wanted y'all to remember the points that Anatupo had, 22 points, right? Now, if Anatupo would have had 50 points, 30 points, the New York Knicks would have won this game. What happened was we let, the other, we let everybody else beat us, and we're not supposed to do that. When it comes to play games or teams like the Milwaukee Bucks, when they have a dominant player, you got to really just focus on his health, not him. And what the Knicks was doing, if you heard Clyde last night, it, 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 they were setting up the end of the tubo war. Whenever um, Giannis came into the paint, there was three Knicks players. So that means whoever was guarding this man on a, on a, on a side or whatever he was guarding, whoever the man may be on the baseline, they had to run over to help guard and the tumbo which that did which happened it left everybody else open so it was all designed this way so you can, like i said in the video earlier in the video y'all might say that the knicks players was accountable evan for was out of position but it wasn't this is the, the, the defense that tom Thibodeau called this is the defense that i hate but this is the defense that got the new york knicks where we at right now there's no line that new york knicks is one of the best defensive teams in the league right now especially going since december 12th Excuse me, December 4th, the Knicks basically been number one in every category there is. But at the same time, if we come up across a team that's really shooting the ball well, we're going to get destroyed. It was proven with Boston and the Nets and with the Thunder. I mean, I like the defense, but the defense only works if the team, the opposing team is not shooting the ball very well. Or we're playing against a team that's not known for their three ball. Three ball or the long two or whatever you want to call it. And this is why we lost the game. If, if the coach would have made some adjustments in halftime, because we had them. We had them. Like I said, we had a 17-point lead in the third quarter. And he kept putting up that end of the tumbo wall. This is when you're supposed to say, you know what? You seen what was going on when the lead dropped down to five points in the third quarter. You're supposed to say, you know what? Here's what we're going to make a difference. Because we, we did snatch it and went back up in the fourth quarter. It's just that we, we, just, we stayed with the same defense, and that defense killed us. And um, it's kind of hard to get down on Tom Thibodeau the way the New York Knicks is playing right now. But at the same time, if he wants this team to go further, if he wants this team to advance in the playoff, he's going to have to adjust. I mean, he can start off. As, if it's working, stay with it. But once you see that that style of defense is not working, you got to come up with a different game plan. And y'all tell me what y'all think in the comments section. And with that being said, I want everybody to stay safe, stay healthy. God bless and peace.